Okay, this video we're going to do is on concavity. And this is a small topic. This is the last part of the functions overview. And I want to make sure that you're comfortable with um, what concavity is. And I have a cool thing for it, so I want you guys to use it. So basically, the relationship between the behavior of the rate of change of a function and the concavity of a, of a functions graph. So when I say rate of change, again, I want you to remember you're talking about the slope, if you will, of a function. And we've been doing linear functions, but we're going to start doing functions that start to curve. And because um, concavity is um, a quick topic, I just wanted to get you started. So first of all, here's my cool saying. If a function curves like this up like this, I say it's concave up like a cup. And as you can see, and we're going to talk more exactly how that is, as you can see, it's curving up so it looks like I could put some water in there if I wanted to, okay? The other one is if it curves down like this, a function, so I should put some little lines here. If I have a function that curves down like this, I say it's concave down like a frown. I'm going to tell you, out of all the stuff I teach, everybody remembers this, concave up like a cup, down like a frown. And if as you go along and do these, you're like, oh, this kind of makes sense, and I can kind of see that. So here's the first one I have, and this is talking about salaries. So here I've got this salary increasing every year. I start at zero, and I'm in thousands here, so I have $40,000 the first year. And then after 10 years, I have 72000 And then when I did the slope between these two points, or the rate of change, it was 3.2. And then I did the rate of change between these two, and it was 5.6. And I want to show you that the um, rate of change, or the slopes, not only are they getting larger, but they're increasing. Okay, the slopes are increasing. So they're getting larger. So when the numbers increase on slopes, they get steeper. And because they're positive and they're in the positive direction. So if you look at this, this is graph from zero to 40 years. As you can see, I'm just gonna kind of draw this. This is a slope between zero and 10 and then 10 and 20. Do you see how it's steeper? And then steeper and then steeper. The more steep it gets, it's a larger increase. It bends your graph. So your graph starts to bend because your slopes are changing. Okay. And so what we say is that's an increasing function. It's increasing at an increasing rate, meaning it's getting steeper and steeper and steeper, or in this case, faster and faster and faster. So it might salary is going up a lot because it's increasing even faster. The next one here is on concavity, and this one's on a decreasing function. So if you look at our graph here, it's starting at 200 micrograms and it's decreasing, but this is the same thing. If you do the slopes between here and here, these are my carrots, and I see that the slopes are negative, but they're not, they're getting less negative or smaller numbers. So this is a decreasing function or a decreasing graph at a decreasing rate. And when that happens, they get less steep. And so it slows down. So as you can see from here, if I did the slope between here and here, see that's the steepness there. And then is this is less steep, less steep, See the idea? So because it's it's less steep, it's slowing down. It's still decreasing, but it's slowing down. It's a slower rate. Okay, now let's look at this one here. I have Kareem here, and he's actually a cycling, and it's showing um, the distance that he's using and the time that it's taking him to do that. So I look at it and say, okay, so we'll look at the rate. So for the first hour, he went 20 miles, and then the second hour he went 15, the third hour he went 10. So as you can see, he is still traveling, he's still riding his bike, but it's slowing down. He's not going as fast because he's getting tired, all right? So this function is still an increasing function, meaning he's still doing his bike. He's still increasing his distance. So this is an, considered an increasing function, but as you can say, look at the slopes of this line. 
and then this line. And see how it's getting flatter and flatter? So he's slowing down. So it's an increasing function at a decreasing rate because he's getting tired. So these three um, stories, if you will, will help you kind of see why a graph will curve and why they look what they do. So this next slide right here kind of tells us all the ways you can have that. So here I have an increasing function. So this function is increasing right here because it's going from left to right, it's going up, but it's concave down like a frown. So this, as you can see, it's concave down like a frown. This one right here is a decreasing function because it's going down from left to right. And this is also concave down. So you can actually have a function concave down increasing and decreasing. As well as the other way, this function is decreasing, but it's concave up. This one is increasing and it's concave up. So you can have these four situations with this. So I kind of put it down here. It says if f is a function with an average rate of change, increases or gets less negative or more positive as we move from left to right, then graph of f is concave up. That is, the graph bends upwards. If f is a function whose average rate of change decreases, or slope, you, if you will, gets less and less positive or more and more negative as we move from left to right, the graph of f is concave down. That is, the graph bends downward. So this is just really quick on concavity. So this is the last part of our function overview. So please make sure you do the notes in your note packet, and I'll see you in class.